Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be again painting a seascape but this time I will paint the sea and the waves just using the lifting technique and first I'm starting with privetting my paper and I'm just privetting the part where the sky and the sea is going to be and the part where the beach is and the boat I'm gonna leave it uh, for now dry. I've picked up a little bit of turquoise blue and blue turquoise and then painted in the sky and also the sea and now with this little bit smaller flat brush I'm picking up some green turquoise and painting in also the sea because I do want a distinction between the sea and the sky so the sea is going to be a little bit more greenish and the sky a little bit more bluish adding just a little bit more of the blue turquoise at the top at the horizon line and also a little bit more to the sky we do want enough of the pigment in the sky and also in the sea when we use the lifting technique we want to see the distinction between the part where we lifted the paint and the part where we did not now with this uh, dry towel I'm just uh, picking up some clouds some paint for the clouds and they you can see right now they look pretty natural even if you want a even bigger contrast or distinction between the sky and the clouds you can paint a sky even darker use a little bit more pigment now I picked up some of the yellow light and also some black with twist to paint in the beach and I did forget to say that there is a sketch available for this painting available for download so there is a link in the description box if you want to download the sketch and just trace it and join in this painting now a little bit more of that black with twist in some parts while the paint is still wet I'm adding it here and there just to make it look like there are some dents and some little hills in the beach some splatters with the same colors I used for the beach and then some splatters with just the clean water the paint is still wet so adding clean water will create texture and you can see right now when this dried how that texture look a little bit more of the blue turquoise at the horizon line and then I feather it out soften it into the lighter part into the part where the green turquoise is and for the boat I'm using green turquoise and also I mix it in a little bit with green those paints are from my sets of colors that I made so they are usually available in my shop they're all now sold out but if you would like to be well notified when they are available again you can just sign up for notification on my website so there is also a link for my shop in the description and you can go ahead and check it out there are still some palettes there available so maybe you can find something for yourself a little bit more of the splatters and now the paint is completely dry where the sea is and I'm using this smaller flat brush to pick up the paint so you just make you have to make sure that the paint you're using is not staining and that you can lift it up so I'm just wiggling with my brush it's almost dry I have a very 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 little water in my brush when doing this and if it makes it easier for you you can paint in draw in the lines for the waves before you start painting so maybe that would make it easier for you when when you are deciding where to lift up the paint and just in between the white parts now lifted parts I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment just to create some shadows and highlights on the sea and I'm not gonna go too overboard with that I don't want every single detail not any perfection just somewhat sea looking a shape a little bit more details to the boat and as you can see I'm using all the time that smaller flat brush this is a black with twist mixed in with a little bit of the yellow light and for the shadow I'm using only that black with twist 
I don't want my left side of the bow to be darker because that part in the sh is in the shadow and the right side is not so it's a naturally a little bit lighter now I left it to dry and just adding a little bit more of the shadow because I also do want to make it look like there is a difference in color between the shadow and the boat this is a Lebanon paintbrush I do love that for very small details lines so I will put the link also for that in the description box you can get a 10% discount when you purchase the brush using my code so there is also a link in the description a little bit more of the blue turquoise here and there and then few last details I'm gonna do some birds I always think that really completes the entire impression of the seascape adding those little birds and I did will finish here with my painting but later on when it all dried when I moved stepped away and came back I was just looking and well the beach was too light and there were no values same values as in the darkest part uh, of the boat where the shadow is so I did wanted to well put that same value also in the beach because there are some shadows there and I decided to add a little bit more of the black with twist to the beach just to make it slightly darker and also a few more details and just a little bit more of the paint also to the boat and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video I hope you guys enjoyed it liked it maybe gonna give it a try don't forget there is a sketch available if you do like it please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and I would really really appreciate that there are I believe over 400 tutorials there so I'm sure you will find something for yourself again thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye